Today, let's try understanding how to create a campaign structure for your Google PPC account. Now, uh, for me, uh, I would, uh, uh, when, I, when I decide on campaign structuring, for me, there are few campaigns which are very common, and I hope uh, everyone in the industry would be having those campaigns in common to one another. And there are few call campaigns which actually differs understanding the products and services of your given website. Now, how, how, what are those and how do they differ from one another? Now, the first thing is, yes, the first campaign which you should always create uh, are, are one is brand, brand campaign. Here, this campaign will be targeting all the keywords around your brand name. Secondly, we have generic. So here all the keywords would fall into generic terms. Now we have the third campaign which is targeting competitive or competitive keywords because for example you know that you are not alone in the industry and for sure there is always some potential you can, uh, you can draw out by targeting your competitor name. So this is your competitor campaigns. Now coming to specific. Now. So when I say specific, these are these are those campaigns which which are completely targeting your given products or services. So this usually differs from website to website because for sure a given client called XYZ has a different uh, business model than to a given client uh, that is ABC. So here the the campaign structure completely differs. And then we have one more campaign targeting location. So sometimes what happens like you you are existing in Bangalore and you you have started you have started with a PPC account. Now you want to understand how is the audience in Bangalore itself reacting to your business model. Then those audiences who excludes from Bangalore. So for example, you will divide uh, your location campaigns one targeting Bangalore and the other one excluding Bangalore but all of the other regions in India. So from this you get to understand like where is the real potential coming out or it is only the Bangalore audience where uh, like where you are very much involved with. Now otherwise I would say these are the common and strong uh, campaign, uh, campaigns which you should always be creating for your PPC account. Now just, just let me give you a little bit of examples around the keywords that you should be using uh, with all this given uh, campaign structures. Now, coming to brand. In case of brand, now let me take an example of the website so that it's more clear to understand how each of this campaign and what are the key keywords created around it. So let me take an example of the website called www.ppcworkshopindia.in. So this is an this is an event. This is a workshop event that is that is happening. Uh, in the month of November 16th and 17th in Bangalore and this event or this workshop is completely focusing on pay-per-click marketing. So, so let me take an example of this website. Now if I want to do uh, PPC for this given website now and trying to relate with all these different campaigns, what type of keywords would be, would be relating to each of these campaigns that understand it. Now for example brand. Now in case of brand campaign, the keywords that will be targeted for this given website would be nothing but PPC Workshop India because then that is the brand name. So anyone who is typing in Google search engine or Bing or Yahoo PPC Workshop India, then the given uh, the given campaign structures ad should show up. Now PPC Workshop India, you can also have keywords like PPC Workshop India dot in sometimes www dot PPC workshop India dot co dot in sometimes this is dot com sometimes people type uh, PPC workshop India dot co dot in some uh, so so here the common theme is that you should have PPC workshop India compulsory because here the brand means the domain name itself now why do why do we use different combinations in terms of the dot .in and everything why because 
Sometimes people only remember the domain name, but they get confused whether it was .in, .co, .in, or .com. So to make sure that you are not losing out traffic when someone is type, typing .com, because he didn't remember it properly, and and the right one was .in. So you should be clearly keyword and on all the different combination. Yep. So 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 these are some set of keywords. So I'm just giving an example. Hopefully you can still elaborate it. Uh, based on the understanding of your domain name and everything, you can even use keywords like HTTP uh, colon um, uh, PPC Workshop India dot in. Then you can also have keywords like PPC space Workshop space India because sometimes people think that yeah that one single domain name was not a single word but it was it was three different terms so they tried to give a space designation on. So you can literally elaborate it. Um, in the understand by keep, by putting yourself in the user's shoe and trying to think what are different variations they can bring up to your domain name and the main reason why you are trying to do is because to make sure that your ad always pops up when even though they are trying to, they are typing in different combinations but the, the meaning is the same so this is what is called uh, this is what is being targeted around the brand campaign now what is the essence of having this in the campaign and what type of keywords are involved when we are trying to have a campaign around generic terms. Now, in this case, I would say with the generic terms would be terms like digital marketing event, or you can say PPC event Bangalore, or you can say PPC workshop India, or you can even say social media workshop or you can even target uh, like social networking you can even say startup event you can even say entrepreneur entrepreneur even everything because the main the main importance of why we are trying to use this different combination keyword is because end of the day there is some of the other benefit or importance of all these people to know about this about this particular uh, workshop because they can literally use this use this uh, use this uh, PPC uh, technique in their uh, in their business and all. And why this all keyword comes into generally because they are not specific. The specific keyword over here is PPC workshop because this whole uh, uh, event is focused on pay per click marketing. But I am targeting all those other generic terms which directly or indirectly fall. To this target now here I'm using digital marketing event because uh, because the PPC is also a part of the digital marketing event and people might be might be looking for this term instead of typing this term because they try they know this this term very much. Secondly, PPC event Bangalore I'm trying to use the location to make it more specific. PPC workshop India there are many people who are trying to trying to connect. They are not specific, they are just more, they are more looking around an event that is happening in India and they are thinking to participate for that. They are also trying to, uh, try, they are also trying uh, for social media workshop because social media advertising is involved here. There are also users who are looking for social networking as, as many of the events uh, keep on happening around this common theme called social networking, startup event, entrepreneurial event. Now I'm just trying to make sure that yeah I'm targeting all those keywords which are not specific but indirectly they they could be benefited if they are a part of this event. Now coming to competitors, in case of competitors, I can target all those all those uh, event sites and also I can target all those websites who are trying to come up with some of the other events around digital marketing because people are there who would be doing a search around those uh, those uh, those terms and everything. Or even I can target all those institute names who are focusing on digital marketing or PPC marketing or social media marketing and everything. So you can say I can target the name of an upcoming event called Gamify. I can I can target the name of so you can say this is completely uh, this is completely unique. So if you if you know all those competitors or all those uh, upcoming event sites uh, domain names, you can start targeting as uh, for 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 a given reason that 
uh, even they would be doing some sort of PPC for their given uh, given event and all. So this is what is also something good because indirectly you would you would be showing your ads for for a given relevant uh, uh, event relevant uh, uh, business and all. Now coming to special products and services, this is where usually uh, the number of ca campaigns uh, either uh, like increases from one to ten to fifteen. Now why uh, the reason why as my business model is completely different from yours. So here in this case, I am only targeting on PPC workshops. There are other other organizations who will be targeting on PPC social media SEO. So there he will be having three different campaigns for individually targeting PPC and uh, social media SEO or affiliate. But here I'll be having only one specific campaign just targeting PPC. Why? Because I am I am around that particular. Uh, that particular event. So here my keyword would be more targeting around PPC workshops. Here will be PPC AdWords workshop event or PPC AdWords conference or PPC AdWords seminar. So the, the common theme over here is PPC and PPC is always related with either AdWords, Ad Center or social media ads. So you can keep the PPC common, or you can even use the term like SCM, SCM, AdWords workshop. So the, the synonym of PPC is SCM, and PPC is always related with AdWords or Ad Center or social media ads. So that is how you can create a list of specific keywords around the theme of PPC workshop. Now you uh, now you should understand that how you can literally extend your keywords is just by understanding that what are the different synonyms for a given keyword. Now here how do I, I how do I try to create a lot of keywords, targeting keywords for the specific campaign that PPC okay PPC is my core theme. Now PPC synonym is SEM. Okay PPC is always related with AdWords or ad center or social media ads. Same way so I can have one keyword which will be PPC AdWords. PPC ad center, PPC social media ads, or I can have uh, even I can have keywords like SCM AdWords, SCM ad center, SCM social media ads. Now I can even bring some more connection to it by adding one more uh, segment called workshop here, or event, or conference, or seminar. So I can say that PPC workshop or SCM workshop. I can say PPC event or SCM event. I can say PPC conference or SCM conference. So this is how you can expand around your specific uh, campaign theme. Okay. Now coming to location here, you can you can target the location's name as your keyword. For example, like PPC workshop Bangalore uh, or digital marketing workshop Bangalore or let's say social media workshop Bangalore or you can say SCM, uh, SCM conference Bangalore or you can say startup and all. So the main, uh, the main intention of this having three campaign is mainly to use the location name in your keyword while around the common theme of this one, the PPC workshop India and try to understand how does it do in order to understand how does it fall in terms of CPC, CPR and all these things. So, so I would say this is the common structure which is uh, which is used by every clients or every PPC expert for the in-house clients or, or or agency clients. So what is that? Brand campaign, generic campaign, competitors, special and location. So this is how you have to make the best utilization of your campaign structure. Now once you have done this one, you you have to decide on two things. What are those? Whether you are going to have all these campaigns only in, in terms of search. So you are going to target all these campaigns uh, in, for search network, or you are also planning to target all these campaigns in the in the display campaign. Sorry, display uh, networks. So it's up to you because uh, because having both uh, having the targets uh, the target in both the network involve, involves uh, a real good objective or plan along with a real good uh, investment because.
because if you are already targeting with search, you would need X Y Z amount. But when you are again starting uh, starting the target targeting display, so you need some additional amount to target the uh, target in the display network. So this is how you have to divide it, and always remember that never try to have one serial campaign targeting both search and display campaigns. Because the way the search campaigns will perform compared to display is completely different, different in terms of CPC, CPM, and everything. So it's it's highly recommended or it's very much recommended that you have your campaigns separately targeting for search network to display network. So never try to never try to integrate both search and display into one single campaign. Okay? Because the way the way search will perform in terms of CPC and the way display will perform in terms of CPC will be different. Accordingly, you can allocate budget. Might be here you might need, uh, for example, if you are investing here seventy percent of your budget, then in case of display you might only have to invest thirty percent of your budget. So, 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 so it differs in terms of search network to display network. And these are the different uh, campaigns what you should initially start with. And with time. As how your business model keeps on uh, growing or increasing and everything, you can come up more campaigns around the specific search surfaces. But here, as my my event my uh, PPC workshop event is completely focused on PPC, so for me, just having one campaign, specific campaign is enough. But in the, in terms of, but there are the websites or there are uh, business owners whose uh, products or services uh, differs and they they are a huge. So in that case, you might have to create several campaigns, specific campaigns, in order to target each of those products or services. So this is what I would say. Uh, yes. Uh, so this is. Uh, I hope this is very clear for you. And if you still have any doubts, you can always mail me your uh, your answer, uh, questions to at Ranjan Raji at gmail .com. So this is my email ID. So if you have any clarifications or doubts, you can always uh, reply me at ranjanraji at gmail.com. I hope uh, I try to uh, like I try my best to answer your uh, your uh, uh, answer your question.